And we're back again with the Betacam SP recorder. Did some more experimenting with this setup today. And well, first of all, the industrial power supply that we put into uh, that thing to replace the original power supply with its bad capacitors, well, that industrial power supply, the capacitors appear to be even worse than in the original power supply. This, uh, I tracked it down, I'm pretty sure it's this, it's this power supply. It just, it stinks a rotten fish. It's absolutely nasty to be even remotely close to this. I don't know, either this was part of some industrial system in a fish factory causing it to smell that way, or it's bad capacitors, leaky capacitors, but that thing is stinking. Anyway, uh, as for this, well, you have already seen what it does. I have it in playback mode, and you can see the screen is flickering, the picture is unstable, and of course now that I have the camera running, it uh, will not even do the most crazy things that it uh, did just a few minutes ago. Uh, this VCR, this must have bad capacitors all over. Uh, first of all, what I noticed when I turn it on today, the time code generator doesn't run anymore. Instead, it just, uh, it, it just shows everything 22. It's just stuck on everything 22, it won't do anything. I did notice that uh, you can, if you have it in fast forward, uh, now it won't even do that anymore. Nope. That's weird. Uh, anyway, so uh, now what I was trying to show you uh, earlier today, when I had this in fast forward mode, uh, meaning it was all activated, light was on, and I switched over to rewind, it would actually briefly, very briefly, turn on the rewind LED uh, it, the mechanism wouldn't react, but it would at least, you know, somehow, somehow the command arrived in the logic and it was enough to turn on the LED for a short moment. So, there are some, some gremlins going on with that. That's definitely not a bad solder joint. That has got to be something wrong with the logic. Uh, now, what I uh, did was I uh, put this into the window, put the VCR into the window right above the radiator and had the radiator turned up and let's just say the thing it's not hot but it's it's pretty warm it's pretty warm and of course uh, capacitor problems are always uh, something that changes with uh, with heat. When I turn it on again into playback mode you can see what it does right now, well, seems like now it's actually working. But you, you, there we go again. Uh, what uh, you, what you've just seen, this flickering, that was the one thing that happened. But it also actually that only happened like once or twice. But it actually went so crazy inside of there. You could you could hear the uh, the, the servos just going crazy. It was running at an inconsistent speed and, and all that kind of stuff. So, yeah, I guess uh, <laughs> I guess at this point it's safe to say this thing has bad capacitors in it. Don't know yet what I'm gonna do with it. If I'm just gonna say, well, nothing I can do about that, or if I'm actually going to open it up and <laughs> I guess there are hundreds of surface mount capacitors in there and they're all bad, so I don't think I'll be able to repair that, but I guess eventually we'll take it apart and at least take a look at the disaster. Well, anyway, that's it for right now, so thank you for watching and see you again soon. And look at that. Flicker, flicker.